Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is the system the stock Intel cooler is running in. You can, it's pretty quiet, you can hear a little bit of a buzz from the fan, but uh, overall it's not too bad. Um, there's one exhaust fan up top and another 120 or 140 in the front. So uh, let me just show you the um, idle temps right now. So uh, in Windows 10, and you can see the idle temp is where are we here, uh, 36 Celsius, which is pretty. It's not bad um, stock for the. This is the Intel cooler, right? Um, it's pretty decent. But now I'm going to start up DaVinci Resolve 17 and uh, get one of the uh, videos rendered, and you can see how fast it'll spike up, and it gets pretty high. Okay, I got DaVinci Resolve 17 open, and I'm gonna be rendering one of the videos that's on my channel that I've already done, just to give you a real world example of what kind of heat you could expect temps uh, from maxing at the CPU completely. So right now the CPU is 43 Celsius. Um, it's around 2.5 gigahertz. Um, yep, it's not pulling much power. Um, but let's get this started, and you can see how quickly it jumps. Okay, so now bumped up to 4.2 gigahertz, just shy of it, and we are at 68. The max I've seen this go when I uh, rendered another video was 92 Celsius, which is pretty bad in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, if... It's a problem. I think this motherboard, even though it's a uh, more budget-oriented motherboard, it does allow you to unlock the power limits for the CPU. But this is a non-K. It's a 11400, but you can still unlock the power limits. But you're not going to get too much out of it because you're hitting, you know, pretty high temps. So um, there's not much extra you can put into the CPU because it just can't keep it cool. We're now at uh, 104, 105 watt, uh, and we are already up to. 80, 81 or yeah 80 uh, 84 celsius now so uh and yeah we seem to be hovering just shy of 4.2 gigahertz so let me pop back over to the computer and you can hear it's pretty loud now so i mean this is the nice thing about the uh, higher end water or uh, water uh, air coolers is that they're a lot more quiet um this thing is just loud as heck. But uh, pop back over, and we are still around 86 now. Still staying just shy of 4.2 gigahertz and 110 watts. So what I'm going to be installing is a the Dark Rock 4 cooler. Uh, just pop back over here you can see it's in the red we are now in 93 celsius 91. so i mean that's um in my opinion that's pretty bad it's 115 watt now um still staying around 4.2 gigahertz one nice thing about dark rock is they or be quiet is they always give you these pretty awesome screwdrivers so i have a couple of them already but these things are really nice so yeah that's a bonus uh, I think you just get these with the Dark Rock uh, 4 models. Um, I think the Slim too. But anyways, yeah, really high quality, nice screwdrivers. Um, that's the cooler. The Pro, I think, has a, it's a dual tower. Uh, slightly slimmer, but it's dual tower. And then the Slim, I think, is about two-thirds the size of this one. But you can see the heat pipes. Yeah, it's pretty sufficient. Definitely a lot better than the Intel cooler, that's for sure. Um, yeah, anyways, let's get this installed.
All right, got the Dark Rock installed. You can see it's uh, a lot larger than the Intel stock cooler, but uh, it's a lot more quiet too. Okay, so I'm back on the desktop, got DaVinci Resolve going. Uh, I'm gonna start the render again, but right now it's just idling at 38C with uh, DaVinci open. And let's get this render going and see what it climbs to. Okay, uh, but then it run for a few more minutes and it's just around 64, 62, bouncing back and forth. But I think this is as high as it's gonna go. It's pretty awesome, but to be expected with a much bigger cooler. Um, yeah, I mean, the Dark Rock coolers are, they are pretty, like the, the Slim and the Pro and the non-pro they're pretty much equivalent to a 240 um a 240 millimeter uh, all in one water cooler uh once you start getting the 360s in custom water cooler you can get a little bit less um better performance but uh you know these high-end uh air coolers are the way to go especially if you just want like a silent operation you don't have to worry about like pumps failing or uh any liquid but um you know i do know that some people like the aesthetic of the um the all-in-ones but uh because these are quite large but you can see the performance i mean that's 25 30 celsius cooler hey guys back here at night uh, i just wanted to point one more thing out i've got handbrake open and i'm converting 28 videos tonight um just wanted to edit them so i've got um the hardware info open right now and you can see the cpu temp is around 71 72 celsius so it's about 10 celsius warmer than da vinci when i was exporting the video but um i believe i'm not sure how handbrake works but i believe it's using the avx instructions you can see it's around 4.2 gigahertz just shy of it um but it was staying around yeah say 3.8 so I, I think it's using the avx instructions i'm not sure how it works but anyways um Package power CPU is uh, 124 watts, and the 11400 in here is a 65 watt CPU. So I'm not sure if that's uh, Asus's um, CPU enhancements um, with the power limits being disabled, so it can just grab what it wants. 150 watts now. Um, that's pretty wild uh, for a 65 watt CPU. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, the Cooler is just warm to touch, but uh, the VRMs are definitely cooking. They're too hot to touch. But um, I mean, this is just a budget uh, board. It's Asus Prime uh, B560 chipset. And uh, I mean, those are, you know, just your budget VRMs. There's no heat sink on the top ones. And uh, yeah, it's doing an okay job. It's just really warm back there. But again, that's because the VRMs, the heat sink's just barely lukewarm. Um, anyways, I just wanted to uh, point that out. Just give you another um, idea of real-world temps. You know, not, not running synthetic uh, benchmarks with uh, Cinebench or whatever. But anyways, just wanted to give you another idea of what to expect. Um, the difference between the uh, Intel cooler and the Dark Rock um, series. And I hope this has been informative and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.